Today on Mo's Toy Room, we're going to unbox from McFarlane Toys and their Mortal Kombat 11 line. Here is Commando Spawn, and it's coming up next. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Toy Room, coming from My Room to Yours. And today we're going to unbox and review from McFarlane Toys and their Mortal Kombat 11 line. Here is Commando Spawn. As you can tell, this spawn is huge. I mean, super sized. This is the big boy right here. You can see him as he's kicking back behind his window of pain, locked in this huge plastic prison. He brings an assault rifle, his um, plasma right there. And also, he brings a lot of stuff all over him. This font is just decked out. You can see him right there. You can see the Mortal Kombat 11 Commando Spawn right there on... The bottom there, you turn to the side, you can see that Mortal Kombat stuff going on right there. Just in time for the huge movie, even though Spawn is not in it. But this is from the game. We're going to turn them all the way around. You can see a beautiful picture right there. And Spawn is pick, kicking back with his Necroplasma right there in his hand. Just, just boiling it up. Just saying, I'm here. There's nothing you can do about it. Alright, so here goes a beautiful photo right there of spawn as well this is for ages 14 and up and is hitting stores now we picked this up from the big bad toy store when it first went in stock and i don't know if it's still in stock you can check big bad toy store but we got it for a beautiful i believe it was 34.99 us dollars and big bad sent it out right away even though it was lost in the mail for a couple of days um but the box arrived perfectly, they packed it perfect, and that was not their fault, it was the mail error fault, uh, but we are doing it just in time for the Mortal Kombat movie. So what we are going to do, folks, is we are going to take this thing out of the box to save some time, and we're going to be right back and review it. Alright folks, first off we're going to do the tail of the tape on this big boy right here. He ranges in for about 10 and 3 quarter inches which comes out to roughly around 27 centimeters to the top of his head. They have this printed out as a 12 inch figure, but as you can see, this ain't the cake. Um, this is a seamstress thing, so this is pretty accurate right here. He tends to bring this very huge stand. Look at the size of this stand. Stand is just massive. Okay. He brings his necroplasm. And this is really nice because it has a little like pin right there that plugs in to the top of his hand. It'll plug right in there for that way he could hold it. Super nice. As you can tell, we got him to stand on his own. And then he brings this huge assault rifle. Just massive. This dude is ready for battle. All right. I'm going to go ahead and call this spawn, I know he's a commando spawn, but I'm going to go out there and say, let's just call him the uh, COVID-19 spawn because he has his face covering, right? He has his mask on. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's just a joke. Come on, guys. Lighten up. All right. Let's check him out. And for you can see actually how big he really is. Here he is next to McFarland's Blood Feud Hunter spawn. This is a 7-inch figure right here. Look at the, Look at the size difference. And when you're looking at the stand, check out that stand. It's bigger than almost as big as he is next to that one. <laughs> Just crazy. All right. Now let's put him up next to NECA's Assassin Predator. You can see the two of them there. If you want to put them neck and neck there you have it who would win only in mortal kombat you could find that out because you can make these guys fight all right folks so what we're going to do right now is it is review time all right first off i just want to give a big shout out to big bad toy store because i would have never found this in store they had it $34.99, shipped it out right away. 
It got lost in the mail for a few days. That was not their fault. Um, it was supposed to be here about three days ago, but it came just in time for the Mortal Kombat movie. Um, and we got it today. And the box was in beautiful condition. It was packed. Everything was done right. Thank you for saving our butt one more time, Big Bad Toy Store. You guys are awesome. Hit a Big Bad Toy Store online. They still might have some in stock. Check them out. All right. You can see the beautiful color schemes right here all the way. He has his bandolier that goes all the way across. It carries down his bullets. Got some grenades coming off of his chest. Got that cool COVID-19 right there. Mass is covering his face right there. And then look at all the way down to his belt. This guy is just nice. I mean, really super nice. It's more of a statue. If you look at the side right there, he has a really cool gun. In holster it does not come out but it looks just bad to the bone all right you can see everything else is turned all the way around you can see little pouches on his belt you can see all the stuff the armor that he has going over his forearms right there down to his his gloves with his nails huge nails on this spawn and yeah they're they're pokey so yeah 14 and up folks 14 and up all right all the way down, he got, he got some more stuff right here. He could throw it down on somebody right here. Um, he has the standard spawn um, leg piece right there with all the spikes sticking out. I like this variant a lot more than just the standard, than the first edition one. I really like that club look. It just looks really awesome. I mean, this dude is nice. You can see his... Cape out just flares all the way out right here. Very super nice material. They have it just washed all the way down just with the reds and the, the blacks and everything going all through it. I like that. Look at that. Wow. Just beautiful. This is a beautiful piece. I mean, man, it, it almost looks like a Kickstarter. That's how nice this thing is. All right. So let's turn it all the way around again. Trying to get as much as I can out of this guy right here. All right, so let's check out the articulation. So his head does move. So that's what you're going to get out of there. His arms only move right there. Hand moves all the way around. And then right here on this one, there's no movement at all on that, on that. But on the hand, he does have some movement right here you can see it right there yeah Let's see if i can get in there yeah this is just solid piece this is something else and then he has swivel at the waist this figure is very heavy i mean we had a tough time getting it out of the package i mean the way that they packed this thing it was really really hard to get it out of the package let me just show you this package real quick you can see right there they even had real wire on there versus the little bubble the rubber band and right here spawn goes in there and he fits perfectly and he's nice and tight but right there through the back they stuck his 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 cape through there so the cape was hard as hell to get out of there i mean it was it just was this is look this is one solid mold i mean it's like a i i i just can't call it i mean it's very tough so it was hard to get it out of there. I don't know how in the world they got it in there. But the piece sure does look nice. All right, folks. So let's see how good this necroplasm fits in his hands. Supposed to have a little pin right there. There it is. He's looking upon it right there. Looks really cool. How cool can he look with this gun? Let's see if the gun can fit in the other hand let's see if we can get it in there all right yeah it's a stiff figure all right right there to be honest he doesn't even need this base he really does not need it this this figure is just bad to the bone all right folks so we're going to wrap this thing up and we're going to be right back. All right, folks. So that'll do it from Mo's Toy Room to yours. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so and hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications so that way you know when the next video like this one hit. 
Also, you can follow us on Instagram at Mo's Toys. That's M-O-E-S-T-O-Y-S. We're up on Instagram at Mo's Toys. Hit up TikTok, because we are at TikTok as well. Go to Mo's Toy Room. There we are, kicking it real at TikTok, doing videos on the daily. Also, we are coming to Twitch any day now, very, very soon. Hit up Mo's Toy Room. We are there, so punch in one word, Mo's Toy Room. And start following today on Twitch. All right, folks. So from Moe's Tour to yours, good night, everyone.